Keith writes the following. I have been waiting for this chance. Cavuto actually thinks people like him. It's Christmas, so I'll be charitable. They think you are the embodiment of evil. Even though you wrap yourself in the cloth of fair and balanced, you are neither. You are simply despicable. Now I know why Trump and every other true American loathes you and never watches you. Fox News host Neil Cavuto learned how much Donald Trump stands love the former president, and they were ruthless. Welcome into TYT Overruled. I am your host, Adrian Lawrence. Well, Keith, get it off your chest. What do you really think about me? Then there's self-professed born-again Eleanor, who seems to agree with that sentiment. You have the audacity and godless goal to criticize Donald Trump, God's very messenger here on Earth, thereby assuring your endless wailing and crying in the unforgiving fires of hell. Connie writes, I heard you say you just call balls and strikes, that you like to treat people fairly, and that you refuse to share your opinions. Newsflash, you're dull. Deal. Okay. I'm dealing. Sarah, Jesus loves me, but I'm pretty sure he has no use for you. May Satan have you back, you shallow, uniparty, globalist pig. And may another host be found for all your stupid shows. Ratings will soar. Peace will rule on earth. Well, all you're missing there, Sarah, is the amen. So amen! <laughs> Where does the rage start? Well, Samantha suspects that viewers aren't the only ones who find me offensive. I hear everyone at Fox thinks you're a load. Funny how they're all likable and a joy to watch, but you're anything but, and that's why nobody will watch. Well, that is not true. I know for a fact my family will watch. My wife, with whom I just celebrated my 40th anniversary, she watches. Donald Trump stands are going hard in the paint to support their beloved leader, particularly in the wake of Colorado's high court ruling that he cannot stay on the ballot because he led the January 6th insurrection, a conclusion that many hold to be true. Trump an insurrectionist, sir? Well, I think it's certainly so, so self-evident. You saw it all. Now, whether the 14th Amendment applies, I'll let the court make that decision. But he certainly supported an insurrection. That being said, it's wild how people believe Trump is a spiritual being of some sorts. If you voted for, well, if you, if you voted for Trump because he was a Christian, then, then I understand. But if you voted for Trump because you thought he'd be a good president. Well, we, we felt like he was a Cyrus. The mm -hmm. God, like you said, could work through anyone. So. Wait, did she really say Trump is a Cyrus? As in a cosmic being who incarnated on Earth to share profound truths and guide humanity toward a higher path? How can presidential candidate Vivek Ramaswamy compete with that? I believe God is. I believe God works through each of us, and I believe we're doing our part. I think it may be a little different from Trump, and I want to. I don't mince words. And candor is my strength and weakness, but I think I will stand for those values with more moral authority. I guess I would say. I, I want you to be able to look. Are these your kids? Yeah. I got, I mean, I'm a father of two sons, too, and we raise them the same way. I want you to be able to look them in the eye and tell them that I want you to grow up and be like him. And I want you to be able to say that in good conscience without having to wince or hedge or stutter as you say it. Guess Vivek tried his best, although according to this MMA fighter, it doesn't matter how hard you try because the deck is stacked against MAGA. <laughs> You were in control much Five longer than more he was. Five control yeah. time. I mean, this is, I didn't see the fight, and I'm sorry, but, you know, I couldn't make it. But, I mean, it looks like you won on paper. Uh, do you think now that yeah. you're a Trump supporter, outwardly, this costs you a uh, fight? I do believe that. You know, I think they stacked the, get the deck against us because they don't want we the people to have control of this country again. And that's what Trump, Trump stands for. He stands for democracy. He stands for freedom. So they're going to do every can everything they can to keep us down, you know, from shadow banning us online, even if we're saying the truth. You know, they're not going to let us, they're going to make us censored, not let the people see that. You know, if it's in a judging position in a fight or any type of athletic uh, sporting event, they're going to stack the deck against us. So it's a sad time in our country, but, you know, we the people, we need to rise up and we can't let this keep us down. It's simply astounding how many Americans drink Donnie's Kool-Aid. You let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Hit those like and follow buttons. And thanks for watching.